What's up, everybody? Hey, happy new comic book day. It's Wednesday, man. Definitely the favorite day of the week, at least for me. At least for me. Got a lot of interesting books. So let's see what I got. So this week I picked up 10 books. And usually I have more of either Marvel or DC, depending on the week. But this week I'm dead even at four each. I got two two indie books. So, as always, let's start with the indies, right? So a book that I've actually been looking forward to is Siren's Gate. Haven't put this on my, my list yet, my subscription list, but because I want to see what the first issue's like, but we're going to see how it goes. The art, just a quick glance through there, the art is awesome. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but yeah, let's see. Shannon Mayer has done a really good job, and a lot of the inside art looks a lot like the cover. So, Siren's Gate, looking forward to it. And then also King Spawn issue 15. I got the variant cover. Um, this is on my pull list, but they actually gave me cover A, but I actually like this cover a lot better. So I was like, hey, can I switch it out? Sure. So King Spawn 15, this, this cover is awesome. So now on DC. So I'm just gonna start off with the fact that last week, for whatever reason, completely forgot to pick up Detective Comics 1064. So I went ahead and picked that up. Um, looking forward to reading this because this is one of the best books out right now, in my opinion. Um, Rom V is doing a great job with this. The artwork, I mean, you can't go wrong. So, looking forward to this. I'm a week behind, but it's all right. Now, I am a, I love nostalgia, right? And you can't get any more nostalgic than this. Action Comics, number one. <sighs> of course, it's a facsimile, but it's the best thing you can get if you don't have the original, right? But good luck. Good luck getting the original. <laughs> uh, most people can't afford the original nowadays. But anyway... This is pretty cool, and if I, as I've said before with facsimile uh, books, the old advertisements, they even have all the advertisements and everything on there. I'm assuming exactly as they were back in those days when this book was, when it originally came out. Um, so, yeah, but I mean, and, and even this book, it has more of a paper, like a paper paper feel. Um, I, I don't know the names of different papers, but... Yeah, like an old school feel to it. So, I will read this. This is nostalgic as it, is, as it can get right here. So next, we have Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths, uh, issue five of seven. Now the cover right here is a little bit of a spoiler already, right? You can't avoid that. But, I mean, come on, let's be real. When the Death of Justice League came out, did we really think that they were going to stay dead? No. So, there was already hints in previous issues that, you know, they're coming back. They're not really dead. So, I guess this is this one's going to make it, like, official. Official. We'll see. But, yeah, 5 of 7. This is winding down. So, it's been good. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how it, how it ends and everything. So, Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths, five. And I've been saying this, this is, this is, to me, this is the best book out there right now. Because to me, it's hard to argue it. Chip Zdarsky, Batman, number 128. I mean, Failsafe, he's been, he's been doing some damage, man. So, can't wait to uh, read this issue to see where this story's going. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now, Marvel. And a story that I've been getting into, like, more so as we've gone along, is uh, Axe Judgment Day. 
Um, once I finally got past issue two and started reading the issues, then yeah, it was good. So last week was um, the Avengers issue, and this week is the X-Men issue. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the, the the Avengers one was pretty good with uh, Tony Stark, Iron Man, um, how his story and he was judged and everything. So I'm looking forward to this one, X-Men, and then next week is the uh, Eternals issue. So the story has really gotten, is, is really grown on me. So looking forward to this. Now, Edge of Spider-Verse issue five. And thankfully, honestly, this is the last issue of this. Some of these issues have been good, but some of these characters throughout this this series haven't really liked some of them. Um, so I know, I know there's got to be one in this book right here that I'm not gonna like. So we'll see, we'll see. But the final issue of Edge of Spider Verse, and so speaking of the Edge of Spider Verse, the book. This has probably been the book I've been looking forward to the most for a while since since I've seen it. It was announced is Spider-Man with Dan Slott and uh, Mark Bagley doing the artwork, and they say it's the end of the Spider Verse. And quite honestly, I really hope so. I really hope so because I feel like there's too many versions of Spider-Man. That's 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 for another video, actually not a bad idea I, I might make a video talking about that but anyway I do hope it's the actual end of the spider-verse because yeah as I've said so anyway this I'm really looking forward to uh, because it's Dan Slott writing and Mark Bagley doing the artwork and I'll say this just I, I don't want to do you know show anything that might give a spoiler but we'll just go with yeah I got I guess this right here the artwork is far, in my opinion, far better than Amazing Spider-Man with, uh, yeah, than uh, John Romita Jr. I like John Romita Jr. I like his artwork, but but you, you can't get better than this. You can't. So, I mean, this is this is just the dream team right here, the all-star dream team right here for Spider-Man. So, definitely looking forward to that. And while we're on the subject of nostalgia in Spider-Man, also the Amazing Spider-Man issue number one, again, facsimile because I'm not rich, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome to have these books and I'm thankful that they do reprint these. And uh, you can actually have a copy of this. Of course, not the original, uh, but you can still have a, a copy of this and, and enjoy it and have it in your collection. So, yeah, this is, this is another nostalgic book that I'm looking forward to reading. So, with that being said, I uh, definitely, definitely looking forward to reading these books. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, in, enjoy your books as well. Let me know what you got. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah. Read the comic books and I will catch you on the flip side.